Let me, uh, let me start off by saying I'm so sorry about last week, guys. I thought I was going to have internet at the beach, and then I got there, and there was no internet, so I couldn't make my video, and I'm sorry once again about that. Um, so this topic is about, like, straight people that think that you want to be with them. Um, this doesn't really much apply for me, like, now, but, um, I guess I'll talk about when I was a lesbian for this week's topic. I haven't really encountered any straight people that think I was coming out to them to, um, try and get with them, but there are always those straight people. You know those straight people. You're gay? Ew. Ew. Okay, I don't swing that way. Ew. Ew. That's bullshit. Ask week three. Or the person, like, as soon as you come out to them, they're like, so you have a crush on me now? And you're like, no. And they're like, so you're going to look at me? You're going to look at me when I'm changing? Is that what's going to happen? You're just going to look at me and watch me change, you fucking pervert? Maybe I shouldn't have that word. <laughs> oh, my God. You've seen me naked. This is totally not okay. And I'm like, nothing has changed since I shared this piece of information with you. Nothing has changed. Except for apparently you went a little psycho. That's apparently what happened here. Hey, straight people, I have a news flash for you. Just because we're gay does not mean we're attracted to every single person we see. Straight people, are you attracted to every single person you see? And I really hope the answer is no, because if it is, that's kind of creepy. But seriously, we're not attracted to everyone just because we're homos. Like, seriously, no. Don't flatter yourselves. Most of the time, we don't even want you. So I was thinking about, like, my fears, and I really am only scared of a few things. Number one, going downstairs, like, I cannot go fast, and I always feel like I'm going to trip and fall and die. And rip onto the railing for dear life. And rip onto the railing for dear life. Um, the second one is down escalators. That's even worse. Like, in D.C., there's this um, really, really big one coming down from DuPont Circle. And I just die. Like, I just have to close my eyes. Or not even close my eyes. And I don't even know if that's irrational. I've always been scared of escalators. My mom told me she always used to, like, have to count with me when I was little and be like, okay, we're going on three. And then she'd go and I'd just stand there and be like, mm. Mm, no. Um, but it's just heightened. It got a lot worse when two years ago I saw a woman got, got her skirt stuck in the escalator and fell. And she just fell down the escalator and it was like eating her skirt and it was like the scariest thing ever and I'm not saying that I wear skirts but I'm still saying that's that's pretty scary um so the last one is like I hate and actually they they make me really really anxious like I really will say heart start hyperventilating um surprises I hate surprises I'm scared of surprises they make me, like, nervous, and I get this anxious energy, and I'm just like, don't surprise me! And people never listen. They do. They never listen. My friend just surprised me. She got me this Mario watch. See? No. Maybe. Why am I not? Okay, there. <laughs> and then, you know how we're all the Power Rangers? Well, all my friends are. Are you really showing me? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm showing my boxers on the internet. Yes, Power Ranger boxers. Yeah, and she just she just surprised me with them, but I was scared, and I always am. So I guess that's kind of an irrational fear. Well, that's it for this week, you guys. Um, I'm really sorry again about last week, but I'll be here not doing anything the whole summer. So I'll see you guys next week.